For my viewers, welcome back to the channel. By the video title, you know what this video is about. Got some NFL news, um, the review of the preseason game, the Hall of Fame game. We get a game. We get a game. And then a crazy storm happened, and the game gets uh, canceled from the weather storm, weather delay like that. It happened. It came out of nowhere like that. They didn't want us to watch football. They want us to watch. Don't get me wrong. Basketball is cool. The Olympics is cool and all, but nothing beats football. Football is one of the best sports, and I think the best sport because the, the, the excitement it brings and stuff. But they got us a game, and they took, us, took it away from us. So now we got to wait until the next games that come out, I think, next week. I don't know if there's any other games this week. I don't think so. I think the, the most appreciated games start next week. And if I'm a fan there that bought a ticket to that game, I don't, I don't know if the uh, Hall of Fame game is free or not, I want money back. Yeah, I, 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 I only, only charge me for two quarters. Pay, pay me another two quarters back or something like that. I'm like, man. Like they just start raining out of nowhere, going crazy out of nowhere. But we did see some stuff that happened. One person I like to highlight, of course, on um, Ripian, on um, Britt Rip. I think I think I'm say name wrong. Britt, Britt Ripian or Ripian. He's been around the league for a little bit, and uh, he played pretty good today. He played uh, very good today, very accurate and very precise on um, some of his throws and stuff, especially to the uh, guy named Colin Johnson. Uh, he was playing very good. Like they make some big time plays for the Bears in this game right here. So it's great to see kind of those guys um, get a little like. You know, play time and get mixed it up a little bit. The Bears got a nice roster. Defense look good. Um, of course, you know, on, on paper coming into the season and last year they played pretty good too at the end. Like they kind of got everything on track. But defense look good. The offense is the only question. Now they got the pieces. They got they traded for Ken Allen. They went out there and um signed Rome, of course, you know, from um Washington. I like did the Huskies. And then they also went out there and who else they brought? They brought somebody else in. Oh yeah, DJ Moore. DJ Moore is still there, of course. When they traded for him, it was a, it was a year. That was the last, not not like last season, the year before last season. They traded for him, and uh, they just extended him to 2028. So they have these guys around for quite some time. Kenny Allen, the veteran, who is there now, of course, too, as well. So they have some nice pieces on their team. Some nice guys on their team. Some nice pieces on their team. They gotta put the pieces together and see what can happen. JJ Swift is another player they uh, also got too as well. They signed up for agency. They have a nice roster. I think um, with Caleb Williams, if he can become the player they think he's gonna be, they pick them first in the draft. He has the arm talent. He has all the intangibles. Can he put it together and become that uh, franchise quarterback, that franchise star they want him to be? Then they have an uh, opportunity to go out there and compete. Maybe a wild card team this year, and then maybe go further beyond as years come. Texans, say Stroud. I remember I called it. I watched my old video when the draft happened. I did draft analysis. I, I, I brought down every quarterback. And I, on my video, I, I said, and I quote, Anthony Richardson, I, I, said, I feel like he could be he could be the most the best quarterback after the draft if he can develop well because he had a dual threat ability. I feel like he can develop well. He could be the best quarterback after the draft because his ability and his size and stuff. But I said the guy who I feel like is going to be very good too as well is C.J. Stroud. I said he, he kind of reminds me of Aaron Rodgers. He's Aaron Rodgers-esque with his accuracy. He has the best touch on the ball. And he's the most accurate coming out of the draft. I think he's going to be the most um, – Probably the best person, the person out there who's going to be doing the most damage in the air like that and being one of those guys, a top guy entering the season. Because people said the Texans was going to be a team that going to be hard for a quarterback to develop. I look like D'Amico Ryan's is there. D'Amico Ryan's is a good personality, a guy who, who could be a, he's a great leader, he's a great coach like that. He played on the field before as well. He's an all-pro player. So I feel like he was going to be a guy who can like resonate more with people. And they did a good job. You know, they started off a little shaky. They jacked my Steelers up. I was there live for that game. And then he went on to do some um, – Great things that season, won a playoff game, got to the playoffs, won a playoff game, blew the Browns out, which is very good, of course. And then also went on to well, the second round, they lost, they fell short to the Ravens, of course, lost to the Ravens, but they got a feel of what it's like to get there. Now they're going to find a way to like maneuver and try to make something out of something. And they got Daniel Hunter added to the team. Um, he had 16, well, he had 16, 17 sacks last year. They, and they went out there and added, of course, um, Joe Mixon, who had 1,000 yards rushing last year, went out there and added Stephon Diggs, who we know how good Stephon Diggs is. So they added all these different pieces, key pieces to their team. When they already had guys, they had Tank Dale already, they had Nico Collins, Mechie and all those guys. They got Dalton Schultz and stuff. They already had Damian Pierce. So now they have a nice core of offensive guys and a nice core of defensive guys as well. Like that. And they have a team that's kind of preparing for the Super Bowl. When you don't have to pay a quarterback a crazy amount of money, you can go out there and do things like this, especially when you're a quarterback. You're like, hey, he playing like an MVP level. He threw 20, um, three touchdowns to just five interceptions last year. He probably had a better ratio if he didn't get injured and missed those few games. But he went out there and played phenomenal. I want to maximize this the best I can for the next two, three years before I have to pay him this 300 million. I think you see a strap again, pay some crazy money. It'll be like 300 million, probably 350 million, maybe 400 million dollars. Pay some crazy money if you keep this place that I love. Jordan Love, only one season he played. I think he'll be good, but only one year, he got paid some crazy money. He's the highest paid quarterback now. So, 
Terrell Lawrence, he only had about one. Terrell Lawrence been like kind of bad a little bit. He got paid some big time money too. So I feel like T. A. Stroud, his trajectory, the way he's kind of playing, we're gonna see how he looked this season. He's gonna pay some big money. So the Texans looking at it like, hey, we gotta go out there, maximize our years, and then find a way to get to a standpoint where we'll, we'll see what happens, how to win a Super Bowl within this time. And we do pay him. We know um, we have less money to do other things around. But when you pay a guy like that, you expect him to be that extra edge to push you over the edge to get to that. Um, the level of competing for Super Bowls and stuff as well in the future. So yeah, so yeah, basically the teams are just trying to get guys out there to play and stuff. And preseason ended a little bit with termination of, of course, um, by the weather delay. We also seen some other NFL news today too as well. We've seen um, the lawsuit thing that happened. And still the lawsuit things still going on. The NFL has been paying like four point seven billion dollars for a lawsuit. They said got rescinded for something else. They found more evidence of something, something that was happening. But the Sunday ticket thing, it was overcharging um, on customers for the Sunday ticket. So that situation is still going on as well. We still have any updates fully on the IU and Trent Williams situation that I know of. Um, let me have to research that right now. Actually, this should be safe. Might as well search it, you know. But I know um, they said they were both looking for like contract extensions. Trent Williams, you know, the, the lineman from for the um, 49ers, and you know, Brandon Ayuk, of course, being asking for the big time money, he actually get traded. Um, yep, still an update, still the same thing that like they see, still holding out. And Brandon Ayuk, let's see about him. I believe he's still holding out as well. Yeah, he's still holding out as well. So both of these guys are still holding out. They're good players and good players like that, but you know the 49ers are trying to find some common ground to get these guys out there. We've seen, of course, Matthew Judon already being kind of like in that situation. He came back to practice today, but he was in that situation yesterday, the past, you know, with the Packers, I mean, Patriots and stuff as well. So we're going to see what happens with that, but it's a lot of like contract situations going on. You know, the, the, the stuff's still going up. You know, quarterback position, pay going up, receivers going up, everything's going up like that. So, hey. You know, players want to get paid, get paid what they're worth and stuff, and not, you know, the extra trade. Nowadays, the players have more leverage and stuff like that, which is very good. Sometimes it can be, you know, the way it's sore. Sometimes it can be good. You know, like, players can choose their destiny, but sometimes it can be too much power. They start going crazy a little bit and getting power hungry and doing things like Tony Brown did and doing crazy stuff um, like that with teams and, like, messing things up for other people. So we're going to see how those um, kind of play out a little bit. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, really like and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys um, next time. And hopefully the next preseason game. It doesn't end in a little god dang storm. Hopefully it ends with zero zero hitting the clock. But yeah, peace out.